else we want to talk about and share our experience on our anniversary day? We came from it. Well, let's talk about today and go back. Okay. So today we went on the west side of the Grand Canyon. They have this thing called the Skywalk, if you haven't been there. It's a glass bridge that allows you to walk over the Grand Canyon while looking down and seeing 4,000 feet of depth of just mass hole. Very, very surreal. It's one of the seven wonders of the world and I can see why. And Derek thought for our 25th anniversary, we would come here and do something different. Stretch our capacity by experiencing something new. It was a little unnerving. Some people, they actually have t-shirts in the gift shop that said, I was too scared to cross over. And then there were some shirts that said, I did it because going on the skywalk is a psychological thing where you are afraid that the glass is going to go give in and you'll fall 4,000 feet to your death. But then when we got on the skywalk to well, take- even before that, you got to go through these doors. Mm -hmm. And you see, when you, when you ride up there, it's the Grand Canyon. You know it's there, it's beautiful, majestic. And so, of course, you know, the skywalk was created for people to actually experience the depth of the Grand Canyon. So when we walk through the doors, and you walk out onto the skywalk, which is a glass surface that you can see through, then that's when reality hit. <laughs> it wasn't that pretty. Reality hit so bad, I was holding on to the rails. Sonya like, was holding on. If this thing gives in, I'm gonna hold on to the rails and hold <laughs> on for my life. So that's, that's <laughs> when reality kicked in, when you're in it. Mind you, we read on the wall that there's so much glass, they've shot a, three, a 257, shotgun through it and it never the bullet never penetrated and they, it could hold uh, 280 pounds no it can hold 300 people at 200 pounds a piece right and it still wouldn't and it still wouldn't give in my so we read all that while we're waiting to go in and it still didn't change the fear <laughs> yeah and, that was, and that's the whole reality of it it looks beautiful but when you walk out there it does something to yourself and your subconscious and say okay i'm not sure if this is going to hold me it's not as pretty as it looks but yet it's so beautiful that you can't help but look thus marriage, marriage. <laughs> if you want if you're engaged <laughs> or you're single go out there on the grand canyon and then connect the dots because that's what people think marriage is like that it's beautiful and it's intriguing. It is. But, but when we got on that skywalk, the one thing Derek and I did was we respected the depth. We were 4,000 feet above. Nothing but mass, earth, and hole. It's just amazing. And, and the culture behind it, you know, the Native Americans, um, this is their... their um, this is a reservation. This is their this reservation. Is, this is yes. their property. Yes. This is where they carved out mm -hmm. and they, they are sharing that part. Of the so there's a lot of cultural respect here too. Right. When you read the stories and you go in, there's a lot of respect. So let's let's talk about let's talk about marriage. As it relates to marriage, I don't think people go in gingerly respecting what it is and what it means. We didn't go in gingerly, respecting what it is and what it means. When you really think about, Derek and I went, with the photographer was taking pictures with us on there because they allow you to take that option. And he was just doing all kinds of things on that glass. I mean, he became casual about it because he was familiar with it. And that was cool for the Skywalk, but it's not cool for marriage because what happens is we become casual with the familiarity of each other. So then we start start losing the respect and the delicacy of marriage. I think that the photographers trusted that the glass would not fall underneath them based on all the things we just shared. But there was like, there's there was just a, a 
strong looseness about it, a casualness about it. And I just thought, you can't afford to have that kind of casual mindset when you get married. You gotta respect the depth. The depth of marriage, they're gonna have a presentation we call the multi, the three-dimensional marriage, excuse me, the three-dimensional marriage. And one of the dimensions is the depth. Where marriage is gonna take you deep, 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 deep down to some places that you've never been before. And if you don't go in expecting that, you can't go in to respect that. You gotta go in and say, there are gonna be things that I'm gonna learn about myself, there's gonna be things I'm gonna learn about my husband that I know will be challenging, but I'm gonna respect the process. We talked about respecting the person and not the process, but today's vlog, is respecting the process of marriage. Because even though you gotta respect the person to get to that place of value, you also gotta respect the process that marriage takes you through to do it. Listen, I said a mouthful, didn't you I? Said, you said a mouthful. Let's, let's share our experience on our wedding day. So our wedding, on our wedding day? On our wedding, our anniversary, the third, yesterday. And so, we Thursday. had a good time, Thursday. We had a good time and everything was good. And then there was a hiccup. Do share the hiccup. I felt on our anniversary, we are in a beautiful resort. In a beautiful um, condo, whatever you want to call it. And on our anniversary day, you know, I'm a hopeless romantic, so I woke up expecting bells and whistles. <laughs> And, and Derek was, you know, he was jet lagged because we're three hours behind. So, of, all, of where we live. In so we got area, in about 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Which was really in our bodies. Right. Three it's three in the morning, morning in the morning. So we got into it's a 12, suite. Yeah. It was a beautiful suite. <laughs> you know, okay, my body's now at three o'clock in the morning. So even though Sung is a hopeless romantic, there's some expectations that she had during that time frame. So we get into the hotel, we put our bag, we're admiring the view. You can't, I mean, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. And so, um, and so, yeah. So I wanted to kind of fast forward Right, so I, I, so there were a few things that throughout the day, we had plans for a beautiful evening, but throughout the day, there were things that I kind of wanted to do while we were getting ourselves acclimated to where we were and, you know, getting, <clears throat> getting ready to enjoy the evening so she wanted to take a shower together i'm mean, not sure why she's she's kind of she oh, wanted us to take I mean, a shower I mean, together no just this is transparent well, there's a lot of different things though. So just, just, so, a just pull that one just pick out one okay. so she wanted to take a shower together so she gets in the shower and she asked me very nice it was very seductive okay and i just kind of <laughs> <wasn't> uh, <laughs> it was it was sewing your fashion so you can call it seductive <laughs> though. okay you can call it what you want to call it but she was naked going into the shower <laughs> And I said, I didn't say anything. I said, okay, I'll be there. And of course, I never got into the shower because I'm just fiddling around doing some stuff in my temperament. So that was not, that was one thing out of a lot of different components in regards to sewing is a hopeless romantic. So it didn't happen. The shower together didn't happen. We get dressed and, and, and go ahead, continue. So it culminated right. to just conflict while we were getting ready to go to dinner. Right. And I didn't want to go to dinner like that. I was like, um, I'm not feeling this. Right, so Sonia, we had uh, logistical differences in where we were going to go because this is new for us. Whether we should go to this place or that place, of course, the timing and the reservations and COVID. So there's a lot of factors in regards to what we were going to do in the time frame that we had. So Sonia was dressed really, really nice. She was doing makeup together. She was, and I had on this, probably the same thing. I probably had on the same thing. You did. I did. OMG, you I'd, sure did. I'd say and I'm and I'm 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 dressed in my cutest outfit. I had a I picked out an anniversary outfit and and I did my makeup fly. And he said, Oh, you getting all dressed up. It's our twenty fifth wedding anniversary. Again, here we go with marriage. There's a difference in logistics, the difference in where we're part. going to that go. That was what triggered me. It, it was so she had an expectation of going someplace that we we're going to get dressed. I had, I didn't have that. It didn't mean that I, I, I 
negated or minimized the the actual events. We just we just were in different. We had phase. different expectations. We had different expectations. So of course, it bleeded in. So we weren't really talking. So I was, you know, we we're 25 years. We don't really fight. We don't argue. We don't go in. We don't go and get a drink and do all that kind of stuff. But we do cope by our silence because our silence. What we can say, we know that it can damage. And so that's one thing we learned over the years. If you don't have rules in place in your marriage, you better get them. Mm -hmm. Because we've learned that we're not gonna curse, scream, holler, oh. drink. So we, we that was in our rules years ago. Yeah. And those rules played out. That, those rules keep us safe. It kept us safe. And this is the, and stable. This, stay with this point. If we didn't have those rules in place, I was going down to the bar and I was going to sit at the bar and give me my kvasi, whatever, on the rocks when you twist the line. And or Sonya would probably curse me out. <laughs> but the rules saved us, and that's a whole nother vlog I think we did in another vlog. But that moment of time... We've had those rules for 23 years. Right, so get rules. Mm -hmm. If you don't get anything else, you got to respect the marriage, you got to mm -hmm. respect the person, you got to respect the, the respect the sanctity of marriage. you got to respect all that, not be cursing, screaming, hollering, just doing some dumb stuff. Even on the skywalk, they made us cover our shoes. Right. They right. made us wait. We couldn't take any... We couldn't, get it. We couldn't take our rules. personal items in there. Right. We had rules that they they were like respect this thing that y'all about to get on. Right. So so we we kind of shut down and weren't we were protecting each other. We weren't saying anything. And so Sonya, she sat down. It was it was it was it was grace gracefully done. It came with maturity. It came from a spiritual woman's place. It doesn't negate how she felt. And she sat on a chair. And she says, I don't feel. I'm not ready to go anywhere because we haven't resolved this or we haven't talked about this or something like that. And I sat down, I had to suck my manhood up and I said, okay. And I sit down in the chair and we sat there for about 10 seconds in silence. And then so and then we talked about the expectations and the feelings and all those kind of things. And so we're well, gonna that point by that point, Derek changed his clothes and put on something really nice. And I and I changed my clothes out of Frustration. I, I didn't just say okay. I mean, I was throwing stuff on the bed. I was ripping stuff off the club. You know, I'm just putting stuff on out of sheer frustration. But I did change because I wanted to make sure that we still were on the same page. But here's here's the premise of all that. This is 25 years of marriage on our anniversary day, and we still had uh, issues, and we still had stuff. But we've learned, and this is what we want to give you learn how to protect our marriage by not doing any more damage than what the damage has already been done. And so we went out, we had a good dinner. Well, no, Derek. Derek oh, yeah, was supposed yeah. to give me well, yeah. he wasn't supposed to. Derek had planned to give me. Okay, so let me just my part. So, <laughs> so uh, I've always said that, you know, 25 years, I want to upgrade Sonya's brand. This is the first time when, when I proposed to her, so it's the same brand. So I said I'm going to upgrade, so I went brought my wife a nice, a nice ring. And I wanted to give it to her at dinner. You know, the ambiance, the whole thing. And so because of this situation, and I got a card for it too. Because of this situation, you know, I don't know if you play spades or not, if you got the card players, I had I had the two of spades. <laughs> and it was, it was a, you know, we weren't speaking, it was a tough conversation. She's crying, I'm like, oh my God, are you crying? Sorry, he doesn't really cry. And so she's crying and she's going off. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I apologize. We worked it out. And I said, well, I went back to my bag. I said, okay. So did you grab the bag? I grabbed my bag. You grabbed your bag like you had like life in it. I had it like this. <laughs> I, went, I went like this. I said, okay. All right, look. I had, I had my bag like this. I said, all right, look. This is probably the best moment to give me this. So I pulled out. And I said, I'll give her the card. And she read the card. The card was beautiful. And then I pulled out the... Derek, I'm the card person. Derek doesn't usually bring out right. cards like that. Right. So I pulled out... The words I, were really beautiful. You had me with the card, to be honest. Yeah, but that, that was the big joke. I wanted to do <laughs> So I said, oh, no, she ain't good her yet. I got to do it. I got to follow up. I got to follow up. And then, you know, of course, box. Love you. And boom. Here we are. Beautiful. So, beautiful, you know... Beautiful I can't show it to you guys because it's being... Yeah. It's being sized and sewn because it has attached baguettes to it. Oh, it's beautiful. So it's absolutely we, beautiful. We we share this with you because we're running out of time. Make sure we okay. But we share this with you because this vlog.
<laughs> this this vlog is hot as Haiti out here, boy. Like, but this vlog is about what message? What are Understanding we? the depth of marriage. Oh yeah. That even at 25 years, you can't become casual. Um, that's the issue. Derek was getting dressed casually to go to what I thought was a, supposed to be a beautiful 25th wedding anniversary dinner. You know couldn't have our big reception and get dressed up so the best thing we could do was go to a nice dinner place which we did go but rolling up with this shirt I'm like where the heck do you think we go but again here, here's 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 here's, and here's I said it earlier there was a difference in expectation so her point right now it's not about me being casual about it. It was about no, what I'm I thought. No, I'm using the example, though. Okay, but don't insinuate that my casual process was not being significant about what we were doing. It wasn't just, I was just, I was getting dressed casually as if we're going out to another location to hang out and do a fair. So that's why the casual came place. Right. Okay, so right. let's be clear. I wasn't, we had some logistical, right. non-communicative well, yeah, issues. I said that, but yeah. I don't want you to make that point. You just made no, that I was I only made it. I only made it because it was a good example of sometimes you didn't you didn't mentally become casual, but you came you you showed up casual when I was expecting something different. Okay, which fair is enough. the whole point of what I was saying is in marriage you show up casual, and okay. sometimes showing up casual is not going to give you what you need in the in that situation. So I was using that as a, 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 a what do you call that, a, a lesson. Okay. Well, I was the front a focus of that. focus lesson. That, that was a good focus lesson, but I want to clear it. I don't want nobody sitting. Derek, you weren't, you know, super hyped about none of your, <laughs> No, that wasn't the point that she was making. I understand your point, but somebody's going to see this video and say, how come Derek, you... And they're not focusing on right. your right, 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 right. It would have right. been about me. What Derek I thought we were going to come back and change and get dressed. Up. Thank you. Okay, that's, that's what I was going to say. Okay. If he, he wasn't intentionally right. going right. to go to our dinner place casual, we just got our wires crossed. So and, yeah. and the thing about it, a lot of couples, that we're going to, you know, to Sonia's point about just being married casually. Okay. And there's no intentionality. There's no. There's no depth. Uh, and so one thing we found out a lot about each other that night the night after was that the night after yeah i shared with sonia about we went out for a walk on this trip and this trip is just chaotic it's just not the same no that was the same night that was the same night no because we didn't talk about it until yesterday right so we we got a lot out of that experience and what we got out of it we're gonna bring this thing home what we got out of it is that there's some things that Sonya still didn't know about me that she had to see. Yeah. And there's some that's things right. that I didn't know about Sonya that I had to see. Yes. And we and those things were pulled out after 27 years of knowing each other. I had this cut, I think I showed you earlier. This cut on my finger, you can't see it. I got cut. I had 12 stickers in that cut playing football in the Marine Corps. And it looked like it was a deep cut. It was. And so, but so He's light, never, so you can't see so it. So this finger. So, this finger has been everywhere. She's seen this finger. This finger has been all over Sonya's body. Huh? Uh, all over her. And she's now... Stay focused. I am focused. But the stitches, I had to tell her the story about the stitches. This is 27 years. Because mm. she didn't know. So, so... Pulling out and seeing what, seeing the other person. And we will, we wouldn't have had that conversation if we didn't have the first conversation about getting our wires crossed as right. our anniversary. Right. So sometimes you got to go to the depth to be able to pull out the jewels, the, the right. things about each other that make us tick. Right. Sit down and have a conversation with each other, with each other. Sit down and yeah. talk about those things that if you married two years or twenty-five years. Sit down at some point in the middle of this corona pandemic and just say, hey, tell me something I didn't know about you. Did you know that I had stitches in my hand? Right. 30 years ago? Right. And have a conversation about your marriage, about your who you are, who you are, and and go deeper. So that's the premise of this. Go yeah, deeper. on our anniversary day and night, we went deeper. And it wasn't comfortable at first. So what happens is depending on your temperament or your upbringing you or your culture, yeah. 
your your discomfort to having those hard conversations may prevent you from getting the depth of the marriage that is required. Absolutely. We got to So gotta don't struggle. become uncomfortable. We may have to stay in line. Huh? It's, we got to get 115. It's got 25 minutes. <laughs> we got we got to walk over there, catch a shuttle, stand in line, get the shuttle. See, this is, we're gonna talk about this later. <laughs> about time, she thinks well, that all of a sudden in the middle of the vlog, you just start panicking like somebody's gonna leave you. Well, we we gotta go. So <laughs> now that you know, come on, let's say it together. Come on, we gotta go. Uh, uh, the depth. I want to get to this part Honey, of Derek. 30, where 30 seconds. The please. depth. I think that he ha he's been left, and he doesn't remember y'all. I think somebody left him. And he has feelings that get triggered That's possibly, by but we're gonna get left right now. <laughs> so we can talk about me being left when I was when I was five, uh, ten. Somebody I don't know. Left him Someone and probably he's left me afraid that he's when I played be late at, at Waterview basketball. Let me ask you something. And they left me. What? We're we'll late for the shuttle this morning. Okay, so look. Now that you know. Now that you know. Come on, we got tape. This, this up before you, honey. We have to go seriously. Okay. Let's end it. Okay. So don't be afraid, like we were initially going on the skywalk of the Grand Canyon. Yes. Don't be afraid of the depth. Yes, don't be afraid. You know, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. That's gonna carry you over to, carry the other you side, over to the other side so that you can see clearly your spouse. You can see clearly and know that things the rain about is them that you've never known before. Right. So understand that. Don't be afraid of the depth. Right. So now that you know now that you know what, what you're gonna, gonna do, do with it. it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the button, hit the we'll bell. See you later. Okay. We're not doing the right, vlogs in the house and stuff we're anymore. Gone. We're just doing it wherever we're we going are. right now. Sorry if the, right, the visual gotta go. and the audio okay. is not the best. Bye bye. <laughs> see you next episode.